Hey guys and welcome back to Farming Simulator 2017 on Sandy Bay. So, I picked up all the bales, loaded them up and accidentally hit the key on the trailer to uh, stack them for high. Mm-hmm, had it beautifully loaded. Uh, I was going to do the thumbnail, even stacked one going across here and another one on the ramps, pushed up by the, well, the yeah, the dovetail and pushed up by the beaver tail, pushed up by the ramps. Yeah, so we're heading back to the yard to unload this stuff along with I did a bit of extra stuff as well in the field oh did I completely yup oh yeah that would have left a mark along with field 20 I windrowed the straw into one or two two into one basically field Three we no longer own, although I did do like two hours worth of work on it myself. We're not going to keep that field. Uh, when the game is released, we're not going to have that field. We're actually going to have uh, 13, 14, field 8, and I believe there's another field uh, which, unfortunately, Auction David does not remember. But I'm keeping field 20, like I've said. So. That's ready for the AI, AI uh, worker to, or AI guy, whoever, whoever owns it now, to have. I'm not sure the price of it, neither. Let's go check it out. Guess we should shut the gates, too. And it's going to be... Wow, one million. Dang. I don't know if there's any missions on that field. Stock. So, the bale storage. Now, this is the opposite side of the yard. I think there is some here, but I, my worry is there's an actual bale sow point, too. Which I'm going to see if there is. And that is just across from where we're going to be keeping the grass bales. Well, not the grass bales, the uh, grass equipment. So we shall see. Basically, in there. So now we've got the mini map, so hopefully not. Low down the ramps again. Why do that? Just for stability, honestly. Lower the forks down. Uh, there goes the cat. Haven't named the cat yet. Got to think of a name. That's going to matter. It's all a load script. So by the sounds of it, uh, we should have had a new version. Oh, we all load scripts functioning already. Could have gone back worse. By the sounds of it, I should have had a new version by the time you're seeing this of the map. Um, recording this actually Monday night. It's currently six minutes past eight at night. Ah, oh, there's a bale sale point. It's not on the map, neither is it. Oh, it is Sandy Bay Barn. That changes everything. Hmm. 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 Ah. Uh, okay. How does that change everything? Well, we're going to move the class over to the side there, and this will be the uh, hay storage. We could probably quite happily keep stuff in there. I just don't want to run the risk of the trigger. I will try it, though, on the left-hand side. But if the trigger is too big, it may sell some stuff. I do want to do some silage bales at some point too. I have uh, seen, I believe, Monday's video. Of course, I am recording this. Technically, Monday's though. 
Uh, someone was asking about the... Okay, we can keep it there. Maybe we shall do that then. Uh, well, they were asking about the... Bale wrapper. Spitting it out, eventually. And where that come from, uh, the colour of the wrapper, I believe, more than anything. And that is from Mod Central, a fairly new website for uh, mods. Highly recommend it. The SOB guys are now over there, and I think there's kind of a few of the guys from FSUK over there. Is there a way of unloading the bills? Using a key on the controller? No. That's marks off of the pack for me, I like him. That's probably going to reload it, isn't it? Yep. So, that is a good place to go and get some pretty decent mods. Of course, they are in my uh, mod spreadsheet. Currently, it's pretty much spot up to date, excluding Cobra, because it's not out yet. Like I say, I may end up putting the WIP topic in there. But we shall see on that one, whether it's, whether I do that or not. Honestly, uh, is it worth it? Ah, uh, possibly. Is there a lip? There is a, a little bit. That could affect how I want to store these. Yeah, that's the thing. Stuff like that can probably end up getting pushed onto the lip. So that's about six high there, I think. Yeah, it should be six high anyway. Easy. <laughs> this is like Jenga. It really is. Now if you're wondering why the camera's a little funky, it's because it's on the implement. Sometimes that's a nice feature, sometimes it really is not. Alright, we're gonna need to undo some of these straps. Configuration can never be changed. I missed that. And I did do all the straps there. Perfect. That's what I was trying to do. That'd be nice to get that look. Lower that down. I want to kind of build a baseline along the back wall. There we go. Something a little like that. Probably push them along a little more. I do have a new mod. I noticed on the mod hub some at the beginning of the week at this point in time, some mods the linking cultivators got put on there. Unfortunately, not the ones I really like. I like the one where it's folds up. There's two wings on it. It folds up, fully mounted, and I believe it's a six meter one or something like that. Hopefully, that's going to come out soon. Presumably it would. I've got them not on the map yet, but there's a Lincoln plow subsoiler thing that may replace the John Deere, more fitting. But it's just only a 4 meter compared to, I believe, a 6 meter. The other one is 16 Celsius outside, Celsius outside so getting pretty warm too. Which will help the crop along. 
I'll do the same thing, grab the top one, and probably, as we've stacked enough bills, head over to the combine. And probably get bailing while the combine's doing the rest of the field. So yeah, quite happy with the stack of bales there. I won't be able to go too far because we need to have room to get into the building. At the same time, at least we've got the bales are out of the way. Kind of hoping we're going to get bale extension soon. I, I really enjoyed that mod and the fact that it was so weather dependent. Or the guys in seasons. How about some bale tweaks? <laughs> Hopefully, bale extension does come out and the guys realism modding or realis realism. I, I forget how to pronounce the name. It's it's an interesting one. Realness, I believe it is, or something like that. If uh, Bell Extension does come out, they'll implement that into the mod. Or make it seamlessly work smoothly with it. As Bell Extension does have, in FS15 anyway, did have like weather effects, so humidity and stuff like that. Of course, if your bales were slightly damp and it was summertime, you could put, say, put them outside and they would dry off. That would, that would be cool. Actually, I don't know why I drove over there. Because I can put them here. I don't get why the bales are kind of jiggling around a little there. It's almost like the floor's uneven. Oh, I've only got two left. Ooh, interesting. Ah, uh, two from the front and one at the top, and that's perfect. Oh, oh, that that worked actually quite nicely. So what we'll do is leave these on. Uh, probably sort these up towards the end of the video, and we'll head over to the field. As you can see, I've got the seventy-five thirty here. With the tether, so we've got some pretty big wind rows now of some straw. Combine is ready to go. I did update Courseplay, so any of you guys that are using the beta version of Courseplay or the dev version has updated. So back up a little bit. Remove the course just in case that may act a little funky. And drive. And away we go. So it's going along quite nicely. I'm not sure how much barley we've had out of this field, but I think it's quite a bit. And of course, me going along it, it's getting rid of the huge mountains. Please start engine first. Yeah, I know, I know. Fire up. This feels stabilized, and away we go. So it just, just about does these, if I stay almost smack bang in the middle. I don't typically do this, neither. I thought it would be something to try and see how it goes, putting two wind rows into one. Real life with the Baylor take this, it may actually. Straw is usually pretty darn light, so yeah, it could take it quite nicely. Shut it down. Just so it's out of the way and find the R series. Here we go. And watch our, our hay turn into straw. It's always funny watching this. Boom, done. Within a blink of an eye. So I almost guarantee this is just going to eat a lot of the material. 
a heck of a lot. Gonna dial the speed back to some of more realistic value. Keep an eye on the combine at the same time too. And because I'm going faster speed, I'll probably catch up pretty darn quick too, actually. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five bales already. This field I can see me using the auto load script and selling a good portion. That's why I'm only doing the midsection. I did forget to switch it on right away. Uh, I've not got too much to worry about. I don't need a ton of straw. But just look at it. Ah. We're going to get plenty. That's probably almost a trailer load right there. We may end up having to bring in. Uh, Articulated trailer with the dolly. I may do that. I may buy one for this map actually. Then I don't need to worry about doing too much straw bales and it's going to be a pain to transport or what, whatnot. Because, well, we use them in real life in the UK. You guys probably are fully aware of that. How's the combine doing? Oh, and I do want to say this is glance up in the top left corner, just uh, slightly big. It through the XML file of enlarged text just by a couple. So that is back out on the mod hub, of course most of you already know that. Uh, it should be in the mod spreadsheet too. I'll put that in there. I think Inspector is in there as well. I, I recommend both. I like Glance. I prefer Glance. I find it just much cleaner, but Inspector will begin to well, learn to like it as well. In case of Puddle, shut up. Well, most definitely Puddle. Better than nothing. Oh, look at those bales. I cannot believe the amount of bales we've got out of this. That is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Wow. Now with the amount of material I understand I'll probably be going a lot slower than this. Possibly, I don't know. I've seen one lonely farmer go through some monster, monster windrows, probably at well it's probably about that. Maybe a little slower. Uh, seven and a half mile an hour, I can see it on the speedo there. But of course farm sim does blow these windrows way out of proportion as well. So I don't know. At least too much material? Eh. Is it saving me time? Yeah, more than definitely. So basically stock measurements, so stock bales. Not a stock bale. Is combine full? Uh, almost. As long as this pipe's gonna be on the outside, that I don't think it's going to be. What are we? One, two, three, four rows behind it. But of course the rest will need a win row, and I will do the rest in win rows. So two rows, not even, I reckon that'll be a full trailer of the Joskin, so I will probably get the Flegal trailer from the mod hub. All oh, the pipers on the right side, sweet. I think I already have it downloaded, I just haven't got it selected for this map. But I do want to buy that. I'm not sure where we'll keep it. We may keep it down at the stool. Put that on the back of the fast track, it'll go along quite nicely. Maybe save that for the live stream during the week. We'll see. Hopefully do a lot of live streaming this week. As it's Friday, I'm probably going to keep this video shorter than normal. So one thing that... I may not have... I, I probably shouldn't have recorded this video on the same day as what, the rest of the weeks that I've been saying I've recorded on Monday because I kind of run out of stuff to talk about which is unfortunate I was talking actually to Auction David here we go, rumble time the boat, where are you? over there boaty bo muck boat face out there I was completely wrong he said that's actually got a really high polygon count which could have an effect of the FPS along with all the water you guys saw underneath there, 
uh, what was that? Thursday's video. So he's adjusted all of that. He said that should give a FPS increase. That is around 40,000 polygons. Polygons are basically the detail of the mod. How fine the mesh is. I would show you, but it will kind of interrupt the game and some of the stuff that may come up in game. It's a detail over, basically. Higher the number, the more detail it is. The boat's all the way out there, like I said the other day, where it doesn't need to be that detailed because you can't see it. You can just see the silhouette. You can't make out what colour it is. You can't make out the portals and yeah, so on and so forth. Well, that's a pretty detailed model, apparently. So he said he's probably going to make a lower polygon model. It doesn't need to be anything really good looking because you just don't see the thing. Trains, aeroplanes, like I say, balloons. Uh, balloons? You do. And he did say he's going to try and see if he can add a plane. I may have hinted at a C-130. I, I just love the C-130s. Even if he adds that into a personal one for me. I, I want my C-130 back. Uh, I've got a suggestion of a flight path for that too, actually. So, what I'm thinking... Uh, David, if you're listening, if you haven't added it already, you may have. From the windmill, straight across the beach. At a fairly low altitude, uh, obviously high enough, higher than the uh, the lighthouse above there, but kind of along the shoreline, straight in front of the beach. That you'll be able to see that from so far away, and I think it would look really good instead of it flying around way, way high. Depending on the model, if it's a good one, if it is the C one thirty, if it's a normal seven four seven, have at it. But I, I reckon that'll look pretty cool. And I think he has adjusted the cliff faces so they look better. And from what he was saying to me, so there's some tweaks. Most of this stuff, like, I'm not seeing stuff game breaking. I will test the, the sail point because we don't need this much straw. This will probably last us a lifetime. With no reason. Can't believe actually how many bales we got out. Was that four within a row? And this is our last row of the nice thick wind row. And then we'll let the combine do its rest. Do the do his thing. I probably will off camera finish his field up, bailing and combine tonight. Oh, actually, maybe not because I need to render the videos. I, I will probably live stream then if I don't do it tonight. I want to get at least two of the thumbnails and two of the videos rendered and done tonight. And then we'll take it from there. That's the thing, take, doing the videos does take a long time, and of course Photoshop, right now the thumbnails are taking long because I'm learning it still. I did save the PSDs, or well, the PSD, for from the Photoshop elements, so that will save me some time doing Sandy Bay this week, luckily. I do like the way it does it better than GIMP. It's just, it's a much better program than Gimpy really is. Why am I running over these? I have no idea. Why? Well, I noticed a little bug with this. So if, let's bring up uh, course place, so I've got cursor. So, glove box basically for the, with the net. Look down, follow the tip of the cursor. You see daylight coming through? There's a glitch. There's... That is blue daylight coming through there. That's obviously a flaw in the model where it should be black lines solid all the way through. That isn't right there. And I don't know where all those numbers are coming from. Pretty sure me and Dave figured it out to be seasons. So if you watch when I turn... Like if we can get it so... Uh, I'll drive up to the combine and you'll see it go green. When I get close to the combine, and that will be the combine showing through. Wait for it, wait for it. We'll probably see the pipe in a second. Through that top corner. There it is, see it? Covered. Not covered. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a little issue. I can't see where it is. But there is uh, 
definitely some sort of issue there from inside. Which is unfortunate. But no doubt, in the patch, that'll get fixed if they know about it. They may not even know about it. Which I could always send a support ticket in showing that off. So whether they'll get back to me, I don't know. Because, uh... Yeah, they've not been really forthcoming with information when I've emailed them in the past, which is disappointing for more giants, that is. So we're about our usual Friday length of video. We will call it quits here, so what we have we done on a recap, we've bailed well pretty much most of this field real quick. We uh, need to pick up the rest of the bales up there and unload the trailer. Combine has just been emptied and We'll get wind road and road up at some point. Whether I do that tonight off camera or not, I don't know. So, we will hopefully be streaming again today. By the time of you seen this, hopefully I've streamed more time, well, the same as I did last week. So, until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll catch you guys later. See ya.